Hello agents, it's Agent Yates here back at HQ and I wanted to talk to you about a fantastic new app that I've been using recently that I think you'll really enjoy. I think this app can be used by um, agents from year R right up to year six and you'll all get something different out of it. It's the Google Arts and Culture app. It's completely free in the App Store. Um, it's really good, there's loads, this is just the home screen with loads of um, activities and things. You can step inside uh, galleries and you can go visit different places around the world, find out about famous artists. You can search by an artist up at the top and it will run through all of their famous pieces of artwork, where they're stored, uh, loads of interesting bits and bobs. But the key thing that I wanted to show you today was the camera tool on this particular app. So down here at the bottom in the circle there's the icon of a camera. I press on that and uh, it gives me this second list of things to do. I'm going to show you three of the features. The first one I'm going to show you is the art projector. This is really cool and uses augmented reality. So I move my phone around and it looks for a flat surface. Then I can select a piece of artwork, such as this famous one, Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. And it drops it in in actual size into the space. Now I can go and explore this. I can look at what it looks like from different perspectives, move around it. I can look in detail at the brush strokes they used. Um, I can take a photograph of it. I can actually, if I wanted to, go right in and choose a particular feature that I want to photograph and take a photograph of that, ready to draw myself. That'll go on my camera roll and then later on I can try and recreate that at home using um, paint or pens of my own. That is the um, art projector. Really good, really fun. You can drop in loads of different art pieces of artwork into your own house. What is great about this is that because the galleries are closed and you may not get a chance to see pictures for real up close, this kind of replicates that experience for you. Uh, the second feature I wanted to show you is the, um, I think we'll go art transfer next. So with this you can take a photograph, oh there's me, hello, I'm going to choose one from my camera roll. Uh, take a photograph, like this particularly flattering one, and you can apply an, a different piece of um, art as a filter over the top of it. So the Mona Lisa is a very famous one, let's see what I look like with the uh, Mona Lisa effect over me. Again, even more flattering perhaps. Uh, let's have a look here. Screen, that's a very famous painting that's housed in Oslo. So I press on that and it will slowly put that on. So there is a filter of me and it shows me what I might look like as that particular piece of artwork. It's really fun. I can show it as a gift to flash between the real picture of me and the filtered picture of me. Uh, I can also use this scissors tool to cut out an area of the photograph that I want to have the effect applied to. Uh, and I can jump between those, so I can just have the background in filter or just me. Now this is really fun anyway, and you can take photographs of your family and see what you look like as famous pieces of artwork. Um, but also you can t uh, make a piece of artwork of your own, take a photograph of that and see what it looks like with each of these different filters applied. They're really good, lots of them are very different. You might discover a new artist that you didn't know anything about, but they're all really cool. So that is um, the art transfer, that's me again. Uh, last one I want to show you is the art selfie. Now this is fun. First thing you need to kind of get yourself in the right mode and pretend you're going to be a piece of art. There's me looking artistic. Now these dots are the artificial intelligence analysing this picture and it's going to try and find pictures that look like me. Oh look at that. Wowee. Could be my double. So this is a um, picture that, that is uh, stored in a museum and it's from one of the collection on the arts app and it thinks that this is a very close resemblance to the picture that I just took of myself. I'm not going to disagree actually, it's not It's not bad. Um, as I flash through it then tries to find other pictures that are like me. It gives you this little um, bar at the top to show you how accurate it is, so the closest it could find for me was 78% accurate in terms of a picture. I can look through and see loads of different pictures to try and find which one I think is a good resemblance of me. Um, it's really fun this and again you might learn about a new piece of artwork that you've never seen before or maybe a new artist and even a new museum that you've never heard of. Each of these pieces of artwork are scanned in at really high quality so you can zoom right in and kind of get um, a close-up view of what these things would look like. Another fun one to do with family, see what you guys might look like as uh, famous pieces of work. That is the review and a little tutorial of Google Arts and Culture which I suggest that you download and have fun with this week.